We live, everybody. So uh, here we are with the today's podcast, James and me, again from Seeker Host. Got the Seeker Host shirts, really. James Indeed. got the James yeah, Host shirt, really. So uh, a bloody microphone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got your microphone. So we're basically doing um this year, 2022, we're creating a lot of content about blogging. We are helping thousands of bloggers get online with all this expertise. I started blogging very well. Long time ago, back in 2013, 14, onwards, I took off as a blogger. James recently started, but he really become one of the experts in the blogging, about creating blogs, plugins, forum creators. And so on one of the previous videos yesterday, which we did, which is on the Sikohos uh, YouTube channel, we, we talk about it, right? So today we're going to talk about actually the James will explain to you the topic and why we choose this because 2022 is you never left late if you haven't yet started a blog. So um, we're going to walk you through how to start blogging and um, we will, of course, throughout our presentation, explain to you some of the, the fundamentals and what you need to have in the mind when you're starting a blog and uh, get it started you know do not leave, miss this year without starting your blog because um, blog opens up with so many opportunities on the web space you know i know like people are oh it's cryptocurrency it's nfts yeah they're there but if you have your blog it's your web property you can do a lot of things on that one so that's what we're going to walk you through in this presentation james explain to you tell your story and what we're going to talk to today in the the podcast Absolutely. So we're going to go through a few things with uh, blogging and uh, primarily how to actually get yourself blogging. If it is something you're interested about, something you're thinking of doing, but you're not quite sure where to go in, we're basically going to go through um, all of the points that you're going to need to know how to actually get yourself started, uh, what you need to do, and also how to get a good footing in it as well. Because there's no point going in it with absolutely no knowledge um, and sort of making early mistakes. So hopefully what we're going to try and do is try and mitigate some of the early mistakes by telling you exactly how to get started. Uh, follow along with this and obviously you should be on to a great path with blogging uh, like fernando said it's a super popular thing especially if you are into your crypto because it's not you know that's it's another point that you can blog about really isn't it it's, it's something that will also bring people in if you know it's popular and you've got a, po a blog which gives people information uh, that's going to be super helpful in terms of people are going to be looking for people with this information um so yeah what we're going to be doing we're going to be looking at the domains uh, we're going to be looking at the hosting, how you can do that. And then we're going to be looking at some great helpful tips, what you can do once you have got yourself started. Um, so we sh we'll start with the domains first. Um, Let's get this started with the domains because um, picking the domain right is really important. You know, get a catchy domain. Jim's going to explain to you about the, the parts, but pick yeah, the domain yeah. right. And you can always get the domain at seekerhost.app, the cheapest domain uh, prices for .com, .co, .uk, .im, and even .ca.co. There are domains like that. You can always look for cheap domain names at seekerhost.app if you want to get. So yeah, then let's let's walk them through with the, the picking up the domain part. Perfect. So first thing that you're going to want to look for is length. Um, a lot of the reason for this is because you want it to be memorable. If you have something super lengthy um, with, with lots of symbols, lots of numbers, um, it's going to be quite hard to remember that really the way that you want to be thinking about this is if you mentioned to somebody at lunchtime, uh, you mentioned somebody you work with, a colleague, you know, anybody you're talking to, you want them to be able to remember it by the time they get home, they get back in the evening, they might mention it to people, their friends, their family. So you want to keep the length short or as short as possible. Obviously, some domains can be a bit harder because obviously the popular ones. Uh, this is why you've got to spend some time. You've got to really have a look. You've got to make sure you know your keywords as well. If you're not sure uh, what keywords are, they are words that people search for. Uh, a very often key um, sort of searched for term will become a keyword because you know a certain amount of people are looking for that. Uh, if I just think of an example... Uh, let's say you might do flooring, flooring company or something like that. I've been doing a website about flooring lately. Uh, you're going to want to have lots of flooring related terms or, you know, if you're specific to a certain area, you might want the area put in there because people read the domains realistically. When you search for something on Google, you're going to look at the domain name as well as the title and all the information on there. And you're going to really base whether you actually click on that uh, due to that. So really picking your domain is actually quite important. Um, move on to stuff like, what is it? Is it going to be a .com? Is it going to be a .co.uk, .net, .org? What audience are you going for? Because it might be actually that your, you know, your blog is tailored for another country. <clears throat> In that case, you're going to want to look for a .im, you know, it's for Indian audience. Um, you want a worldwide, you might go for a .com. Or if you want it specifically for a UK, 
you know, .co.uk will probably look better for you. People will know, you know, you're in the .co.uk area. It's a UK domain. Um, after them sort of things, and really, you know, you should be spending some time keywords, uh, which we'll, we'll go in the next slide, actually. I'll show you a few ways that you can also research keywords, and this is for free because you have paid versions, you have free versions. However, there are some good free versions that you can use, which we will show you. Um, next up, we have price of the domain, um, which we will go through in just a second because we'll be looking at Seekerhost, how you can get yourself a domain there. Um, check the actual prices, what you're going to be paying, so you can check it out yourself. Another thing I wanted to mention as well is the cons of using free domains. Now, I know free domains at first, you sound like, well, you know, if I can get something for free, why, why wouldn't I? Now, unfortunately, we have done some research on this, and we do actually have a number of videos on our YouTube. Um, as much as you can get a free domain, uh, you've got a few problems in the meantime. Obviously, first of all, it's going to be the fact that you can't really get a .com domain or any well-known domain for free. It's going to be stuff like uh, .tx, .ml, uh, and slightly less recognized domain names. You have also got other problems, stuff like the website itself. You know, as simple as some pages just don't load. You search for a domain, it says it's there, it says it's available, you click it, it isn't available. In fact, most of the videos that you will find um, are sort of bug fixes for how you can make that work. So although you can get them free, it's not something I'd recommend. I've tried it myself. Um, many of the times they didn't actually work properly, they didn't propagate. Some of the ones do propagate properly, but it just, it the, the actual, um, it's a bit of a pain, basically, to put it easily, that you're going to spend more effort trying to get this sorted um, than just spending quite a sort of small amount per year for a domain. Mm -hmm. um, so with that, let's get started with getting started with Seacoast. Let's actually check out some prices. Yeah, let, on... me, let, let me add a little bit of bits for that yeah, one. Yeah, so yeah. as James really said, you know, get the domain right is really important, you know, because um, there are places, some people, you can get free domains. And uh, and some person, okay, if you're really starting out, you really type with your cash, you can start to experiment, right? We even covered on Seacost that app. I, I recently published an article about how to um, start a free blog with a free domain and hosting, right? I literally showed it to them, but it's not the sustainable way if you're going to use blogging as a career in 2022. Yes, you can do that for learning, but if you want to build a blog that makes money, the, the build a blog that grows, sustains, you can do the stuff that you fully feel that you own it. You got to take the right steps and do it. It's a domains are not that expensive. You know, we've made a uh, secret host uh, that made the domains the cheapest ever for even anybody can get. So, um, so take this very seriously mm -hmm. because you don't want to put in the time and build a blog and later you don't even own the domain because you just got something for free. It's been taken away from you. That's all lost for you. So very yeah. important point. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Another thing to add to that actually is if you actually check through uh, terms and conditions to this, they, they do specify exactly that they can take yeah. this away at any point. They can also charge you. Uh, I mean, I've seen lots of different amounts for domains, especially if they see that if your domain has got popular um, when it does come to the 12 month end of your free charge, they, they can charge you a really huge amount because they know that you're going to want it. So you don't really want to get caught in that trap. Um, let's actually go ahead over to Seacoast and check some of the prices. Uh, like Fernando said, they, they've just, let's go to buy domains over here. Um, let's just search for a domain, search for my name. Uh, we can actually check out, obviously that is how easy you can just go and search for a domain as well. I just want to point out for anybody that's never, never actually gone and searched. It is just a case of typing it in. Um, and then you get, obviously, you know, this is my first option here, .com, which is great. Um, and you can see the price under £5, um, you know, which is, you're not really going to find that much cheaper, are you? Um, or, you know, what a lot of places will tend to do is they'll tend to give you your first year cheap, and then you'll actually find that the second uh, year might go up to about £20, which is like quadruple the price, which is something you really got to be wary of. Here, you can see starts 4 49 uh, for the first year. After that, it's only £9 per year. I mean, that works out less than a pound i haven't calculated it exactly but less than a pound a month isn't it uh, we're talking about 80 oh, yeah pence. it's 80. just less than even a 50p a month this yeah this yeah because you can get for a domain you know so uh, that's why CQ host is simplifying domain buying and the prices really absolutely and then also stuff like it will give you a huge list of other ones you know sort of different examples that you might be able to use so if the first one is taken um you can just filter your way down the list um, and they're all really relevant as well. I found some really good ones this way. In fact, let's work our way down. We can check out some more of the prices here. Uh, you know, you've got like up to 70% off uh, .in, 50% off .com, 43% off .co.uk, all super, super cheap and easy to register as well. Um, 
we just go ahead with the, in fact yeah let's just show we've got a minute here if i just add to cart we can just go show you the uh, registration process of this and simply a case you know as you would do with any other shopping site you're going to find the one that you want you're going to go ahead to check out uh log in if you haven't logged in already and if you do want to make an account with Seekhost, it's absolutely free you know you can come in and check out the dashboard and stuff like that um and here you can see you can buy one year you can buy up to four years you can choose to auto renew which is a nice uh it's quite an important thing really because you don't want after a year for you to forget um, and then lose your domain so you can click that for a little peace of mind um extra peace of mind as well uh, the contact category which is going to hide your who is information uh, which is another important one depending on what sort of business you are and whether you don't want your information displayed um, after that of course we go to the information the payment and that is it complete um, so that is that's realistically how simple it is to uh, set up the domain let's go back to the publisher over here perfect so I think that's have you got anything else to add about the domain sort of section uh, domains with seeker host Pretty fine section, uh, like, I mean, getting a domain is pretty easy. And, and then a little bit of a thing I can tell, like if anybody's thinking starting a blog and worried about their name and you haven't still got your name, that's that's something to consider really you know i got fernando raymond james just showed some, a domain name right so you can of course get for your na personal name or if you have a brand name that's actually good but anybody who's like thinking about the future web and start with your number to start with your personal name or just one name so basically your name say could be like just one name if you if you have a unique name and you can get that just one name that you want to grow and be known for that's the, that's a good starting point don't overcomplicate it because you can get it, get started, build the blog. You just found a different name in the future. It's very easy. James had done enough videos about how to migrate a, um, your website to another domain. So, you know, you got a domain, you got started, you started like a lot of people with delay. Oh, I'm not very sure with my domain name. What should I get? All these things. That should not be one of the things that's going to delay your process of, uh, of a, a process of starting a, starting a blog, you know? So, because in future, once you, I started with Fernando Biss, dot com right and then later i realized okay i'll have fernandoraymond.com and it's a matter of you migrating the blog post whatever you want from the the old site and getting it done seekerhost team has all the support james have enough tutorials about it so that's something can be doing so pick a name get started absolutely oh hang on uh, just to call through uh, yeah no absolutely and, and realistically although you know it does take a little bit of practice to get it down to, but i can get it done in about 20 minutes you know moving an entire site migrating it over to another so it's not something that's impossible it's not super hard to do simple yeah. step by step follow the tutorial like fernando said we've got loads of tutorials covering lots of different subjects uh, so for that let's move on up next so of course if you want to start blogging you want to blog you got your domain what do you now do with the domain you're going to need some wordpress hosting uh, just for anybody that isn't too sure and is watching this, it, you know, you're going to need your domain, you're going to need your hosting, and that basically connects it together. So when somebody searches, let's say you've got your domain, or I've got jamesflorakos.com, you want when somebody clicks on that domain for it to take them through to the WordPress website that you have built. And that's what we're going to do with the hosting, and they get connected up together. Uh, there's, there's lots of things, obviously, you know, lots of hosting companies. So really, some of the main things that you're going to be looking for is, of course, the price. Um, is the price good what sort of specs are you getting for the package are you getting the correct things uh, a lot of the time you really you've got to work past some of the jargon they use because a lot of people throw in a lot of words that look really great but realistically when it comes down to it um it doesn't really it's not really going to benefit you in any way uh, so just make sure you've got some of the core elements and we'll go through some of them at the end of this clip too uh, dashboard and management uh, how easy is it to manage now personally i can tell from experience because i've used quite a few hosts um through some of the tests that we've done that some really aren't that simple you know you're looking at the screen you're thinking well we've got like 200 options on here i have no idea what to do so keep it simple something that you can manage even if you're just a beginner um or if you're a complete pro at it you still want something simple and very easy to manage especially if you've got multiple blogs uh domain email address as well you know are you going to get a domain email address with it are you going to get something that suits your domain so you can have a professional looking email you know, like info or admin dot, you know, something like that and your domain name. Um, SSL, an important one. Um, are you going to get SSL? Is it going to be for free? Are they going to be charging you? Is it for every year that you have the hosting? You don't want to get a package which has SSL, 
for the first year. Every other year, you're going to be paying £50, really. Uh, you know, you want to make sure you're safe. Anybody doesn't know who what SSL is, it makes your HTTP at the start of your web address. Uh, it makes it HTTPS for a secure connection. Uh, it stops a lot of like the phishing sites and stuff like that, gathering details, which makes it a lot more safe, you know, to put payment details through contact details and stuff like that. Uh, last but not least, of course, uh, have, are you able to get tutorials? Is that are the tutorial specific to the WordPress hosting? Because you don't want to you don't want to start hosting with somebody and then find out there is actually no or very little tutorials or knowledge base about that particular way of hosting. They might have a different dashboard. Um, so really, these are all the things that you're going to need to be looking for. Um, if we go. Um, have you got anything to add for that? I'm basically, I'm just going to head over. That's to pretty much that. straightforward. You know, like, I mean, the SSL and the, and the thing, of course, it's free from Seeker host uh, when you get it, right? So when you get a domain name, like when you get a hosting, when you want to host a domain name, SSL comes free and it's just one click, one click activation. So it's a very easy yeah. process of doing that. So, yeah. Absolutely. Um, trying to find the WordPress on here. Uh, there we go. WordPress hosting plans. Let's just go through on Seeker host some of the main things. Uh, that you should be looking for. Obviously, uh, like we just mentioned there, you got the free SSL. <clears throat> You're not going to get charged anything for it afterwards. Uh, DDoS protection has got malware scanning. You want to know that the people that are looking after you and have got your site, are, you know, checking the back end, making sure that it's safe. Uh, free WordPress migration in case you don't want to do it yourself or you're not able to. Uh, you know, the one click installer and stuff like that, you know, all this stuff is the important fundamental stuff that you're going to need, um, you know, make it quick, make it easy, make it accessible for anybody. Um, if we go to the dashboard over here and, you know, as we're talking about the easy management dashboard, you're going to need somewhere that's, that, that, that is easy. It's simple to understand, you know, where are my WordPress blogs? Where's my tracking sites, my domains? Um, another thing that you do get free for from Seekerhost, uh, sorry, is for WordPress sites. You also get a free tracking site option, which was really interesting. Um, I don't know if you want to talk a little bit more about that. That's quite. I mean, tracking site is basically. I I, I would even I would even um, share my screen and maybe um, maybe show a little bit of it, right? Because yeah, let me go um, over to let to... let me see like um, yeah. So uh, I could even um, yeah I've, I've got it up on mine at the moment as well. Oh, you got it up here, yeah. yeah so yeah, you yeah. share it yours. So yeah, so share the tracking site scene because uh, it basically give people um, you can read the site data. You know, like uh, the traffic. Like let me close the screen. Okay, so you got it. As James is showing, so this is uh, this is uh, the Google Google Analytics, right? Yeah, yeah. So that one's Google. This one's Clicky. Yeah, so both on integrated the nicely. Site section. We basically have the the Clicky Analytics. You can sign up with the Clicky and put the tracking site code here and just read it from the one place. Same thing. Google Analytics free. You can just sign up, create an account through here and then put the site data so from one dashboard so when i i do it i actually check it every day for my sites i, I take a lot of decisions about what pages are getting traffic what pages can be tweaked how what pages yeah, yeah. should be done for like advertising and all like put pop-ups and all so this this thing is free whenever whatever the package you join and then um, you can monitor those sites rather trying to log into google analytics and um, click the analytics separately which you will be missing it out right so when you have when you're checking the domain overview when you want to take some decisions this is a really good one we will go very in depth about like how to use the tracking site analytics and all what kind of decisions you can take but this isn't a function then when you're looking to grow your blog you can be utilizing it for free Absolutely. I, I think it's a great thing as well is, you know, everything's basically in one place. So rather than having to have lots of different internet tabs open, like you said, having to go back onto your analytics for, you know, yeah. either Clicky or Google, all in one place. And you can basically check it all before you log in, uh, yeah. which I, yeah, I, I love that option, to be honest myself. Um, have we gone over everything? All right. So let's go back on to here. So, right, so pretty much we've gone over the WordPress stuff, what you need to be looking for. Um, obviously, we didn't mention the prices, actually. In, in fact, uh, if you oh, are yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, when it comes, you can run through, through the packages. And but one basic thing for anybody who's new, you need is to start a blog. 
What you need, the basic things is a domain name, a good name and a hosting to host your site, which will be loading its data for your visitors, for the readers 24 seven, right? So mm -hmm. that's why you need hosting, which you can also, if you know, you can host your website on your computer, complicated process, but then your computer has to be um, uh, connected to the internet and 24 seven running. So that's why you get a reliable hosting for, for a cheaper price you can afford. There are different packages, James Absolutely. Okay, hosting, WordPress hosting, and also yeah, yeah, yeah. what each package actually gets. But then we will have to jump through to um, jump to, to the website building process, which we have done down tutorials. The links will be below how to do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Perfect. So prices, as you can see here, you start, and obviously I know this is in dollars. Um, it starts for as little as one pound if you're in the UK. <clears throat> in the US, it's going to be 149 per one site extremely cheap i mean if you tally that up with the domain as well uh, we're talking about you know about two dollars maybe just a pound 50 a pound 60 per month uh, for everything all in all per month which is great it's you know it's really not uh bank breaking you know it's something that you can work on on the side without having to worry about extra expenditure yeah uh let's just make our way back to here so Right, so we've gone over the main parts. Obviously, you know, our domain, our WordPress, we've explained how it works, pricing and stuff like that. So where do you get started if you do want to start blogging? Um, what what can you do to make your blog stand out? Um, what can you do to, you know, really uplift it, get the traffic flowing in? Um, so we've put some of the main bullet points here. Uh, what really we should be doing. So obviously, we're going to start first with something which is posting regularly. Now that Obviously, the more you post, the more content you have out there. It does, of course, matter what content you're putting out there. But, you know, obviously, lots of studies have proven that if you do post regularly once a week, twice a week, every single week, um, you know, you can basically you can start seeing your stats go up, can't you? Uh, yeah. which you can I mean, check. you build your blog. I mean, that's how you get thousand, thousand plus like like traffic. You know, that's the same thing that I did like initial days, especially when you're the start phase of the blog pumping content regularly is very important once a week is minimum mm -hmm. I, I i i blog every day at the time to grow my blog to first 10k visitors really you know yeah yeah, yeah. So consistency it's, it's like on it's how it is you know the go search engine boards even in the, in the youtube if you're doing youtube videos we blogging consistency regular posting is what you will get to get picked up by search engines to, to show up your blog to get the traffic Absolutely. And just to prove that point, when we were last looking at the Google Analytics, uh, some of you might have noticed as well, there was a bit of a dip in in the particular blog that you were looking at. That is specifically, and I absolutely know this, is I've not blogged in a certain amount of weeks. And you can actually yeah. tell from the date, you know, how it started to go down a little bit, because obviously you're not putting out content, you're not keeping it fresh, you're not putting valuable content out for there. Uh, so, you know, obviously keep blogging, extremely important. Uh, next up, we have researching keywords and key phrases. Uh, I don't know if you want to talk a bit about this. I know you, you're quite knowledgeable about keywords. You do this uh, yeah, yeah. quite well. So very important part, right? So getting the keyword research, because say you're starting a personal blog, you're starting a blog in a particular niche. If you're starting a blog, I'd say like pet food, you need to do the keyword research. We have videos done on the uh, Seekhost channel, which we will also cover up about how exactly keyword research to be done. But you got to learn how to do the keyword research and find the right keywords because you do not want to start a blog specifically. There is no demand unless you just want to start a hobby blog, which is you're not worried about monetizing. But if you want to make money from your particular blog, you go identifying the right keywords that you want to write content about, create media content and everything is very important. Because uh, that's where the that's where the demand demand is at. You know, if you write about uh, certain blog posts, material content um, about that topic, such is going to pick up you, show up you on the right for the search places that people are looking into, and then that way you get the traffic. When you get the traffic, you can monetize it, sell products, services, affiliates, affiliate com like affiliate uh, referrals. A lot of things can be done. So keyword research is where something's really important. You can learn a lot of keyword research, how to do that one. We use tools like href um, uh, SMRush, and also there are free tools like uh, google keyword plan if you look at uh, click do um, uh, channel on youtube as well as on seekhost you can see some of the videos on keyword research and there are so many videos on youtube how to do keyword research using each and every tool so but make yeah, yeah. sure you do the keyword research it's not something you should worry about to stop the blog but once you pick the niche and when you know Okay, the niche has the demand and then you start the blog, right? And then you, when you're going through the blogging journey, when you want to pr produce more and more content, getting your keyword right is very important. 
Absolutely, absolutely. So as a little tip, let's just go through a few places that you can also do uh, or get some keywords for free. Obviously, as Fernando mentioned, you've got SEMrush and Ahrefs. Um, they are paid. They're going to do a really great job. I mean, if you're looking for a, a better job for keywords, that's, you know, you are going to have to look for the paid programs. However, there are some good non-paid programs. So let's just find out what they are now. If I just look here, we should have one called where are we free keywords we share so wordtracker.com this is going to be a good one this is going to allow you up to 10 searches every day uh, simply search up your keyword uh, let's just put flooring um, and it's going to give you the results for your keywords for up to 10 per day as you can see it's got not as good information as you can get from hres and semrush but it's still going to give you a fair bit of information about the volume uh, competition other words that they use um different variations of them so that's going to be a great little tip another one's going to be oh, that's a good tool to know yeah 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 yeah, so yeah that's, uber eats. that's the wrong one uh where are we now so uber suggest is going to be another one you don't get quite as many here i believe it's up to three a day uh, however just sign up make a free account and you can also i mean this is not free. even expensive you know like these are like yeah, yeah. really cheap if anybody wanna you want to want to get started and going and as you start yeah, yeah. making money you will evolve to and be able to afford uh other things, you know, like uh, SMRH, HRF and the stuff, which is going to make your life so easy to do that. Absolutely. And then sort of mixing it up as well with a bit of like Google Trends, which again is free, you know, searching your keywords and then oh, yeah. cross-reference it with whether it's trending. Is a certain keyword trending at the moment? Has the trend died down? You can search this. It shows you stuff like, you know, is it currently popular? Um, is it decreasing at the moment? So yeah, lots of little you know cool little programs that you can use all together and really properly research everything you do before you actually get started with it uh right next up build in links to your blog this is a very important one and this sort of goes side by side with another thing that you can do on seeker host which is start a pbn blog um obviously we're not specifically talking about pbns at the moment however that is another great way of building links however what you can do is you can build links more organically um you know stuff like actually reaching out to other websites people in a similar niche to yours um you know obviously have a bit of domain authority their, do their domain's been up for a while um you know trying to trying to build almost I mean, friendships links exchange you know so links exchange so say like that, that actually comes down once you build your blog to a certain amount of traffic. We tell like the uh, of thumb is like try to build your traffic uh, to the site at least 1,000 mm -hmm. visitors. Then it's a very attractive property. Anybody, when you reach out, say, so you're building a blog on uh, like so like um, the social media trends or pet food or like a cryptocurrency. So if you build your blog, cryptocurrency blog for like a 1,000 plus visitors, you can reach out to other cryptocurrency uh, bloggers and say like, hi there. I see an interesting article on your blog, which would allow to get mentioned or linked because I have this relevant post in return from my this blog or my other blog, I'm happy to do a link exchange. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the ways you basically do, do on a thing. It's it's asking, however, it's much more of a if you don't want to pay, pay or anything. And also there are other ways like you can pay for some time there, I guess, post submitting websites and the stuff. And which is another topic, we'll go into very detail about blog mm -hmm. growth strategies. But today we want to really summarize these points and jump you and uh, to make sure get started with your very first blog absolutely absolutely so with that let's move on to uh, adding yourself to directory listings which is an interesting one not many people know or not everybody knows about this but there are i mean we've got a few as well that you can add yourself to directory listings you know in terms of like people go to search for places you know whether it be a, a blog informational site or a service in itself you know try and look for these a lot of the places offer you it for free you can add your blog on there add a website it will put a link back to your website um, you know, do loads of these, 20, 30 of these, and that's really going to help your blog out as well. It's not only going to have your blog uh, listed in lots of other locations, you've got lots of links coming back to you as well. Um, and I'll see if I can find the link as well. So I can't remember what it's called now. It's a, there's a Seeker host one anyway. You can get yourself listed on there. Uh, primarily some are for businesses, but you can yeah, get your I mean, blog on there. If you Google Seeker host directory, there is a business directory. The, and also if you Google... There are a lot of list posts, business directory submissions. You can all, we have articles and the things, but if you land on that particular directory, you can get an idea of why you do it and how those things, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Um, social sharing as well, also known a bit as uh, off-page SEO, which is uh, getting your things shared on socials, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, content that you're putting out on there. Um, and yeah, it's, you know, links do help a lot in lots of ways to blogs and obviously coming from off-page, so somewhere else like Facebook, 
sharing, obviously people liking that and engaging with it is all going to help bring people to your blog, which is going to help grow your blog as well. Um, trending topics for posts, um, of course, like with anything else on the internet, if you can, uh, if you can add sort of a trending topic to your post, you are going to get more likely to get a lot of traffic for that as well. I mean, I remember quite clearly with the squid game that, you know, if anybody remembers the squid game, not so long ago, anybody posting with that particular title in it, with that, that sort of content was getting a huge amount more views. That's because it was trending. Lots of people were searching for it. You know, if you're using, obviously, you know, that becomes a keyword, then people are searching for that. So if you have content for that as well, or relevant to that, you're going to end up getting some traffic for that as well. Uh, that goes hand in hand with creating unique content as well, I suppose, you know, although you do want to be finding trending, you also want to not be copying and pasting, uh, copying and pasting really isn't going to be good. Obviously Google, other search engines can quite easily find out if lots of different places have got the same thing written on them. Uh, so it is quite important to write your own content, make sure that it is of good value. Uh, you know, people are engaged in reading it. It's giving them the answer that they want as well. Obviously, if they click on your blog post and they find out that, in fact, it's not really got any of the content they want, it's more of a clickbait. Uh, eventually, the search engines do tend to realize that, obviously, people have gone onto this and they've come off really quickly. It's not got the stuff that they want. So you really want to mitigate that by putting some good information on there, making a nice long blog post rather than keeping it really short. Uh, however, keeping it really relevant with lots of information on. Um, and of course, lastly on that list is choosing the subject that you enjoy and have knowledge about. Uh, nothing works better than somebody that actually knows what they're talking about. Obviously, you can start a blog with, you know, about lots of different stuff. However, you're really going to do best in what you know about because you, I don't know how to describe it. Really, you, you just I mean, know. that's that's a bit. Look at look at James' blog. You know, I mean, he writes about the things he's passionate. A lot of Minecraft, a lot of WordPress, right? Mm -hmm. That's yeah, yeah. the thing because if if not, you're gonna you're gonna. It's even if. I mean, you can do for the money, but how long are you going to do it? Because if you're not going to enjoy it, you're going to drop it at one point. And then the blog, especially, you have to keep on doing, right? Like, like, I mean, you can build to a level and then once you build it, you can make it automated. There are a lot of systems like there are the people who can, you can let the blog manage and things like that. But you need to find something that you enjoy, you have an expert knowledge on, and that's the best way to go forward if you want to produce content or else come up with titles that others can write and things like mm -hmm. that. You need to enjoy it. You know, that's all more sustainable. Have a look on the James blog, have a look at my blog, and we will have the links below on this video on the description, and you can get an idea about what, what topics we cover about, and that's why we keep on pumping those content, which drives the traffic, and which also opens up ways of monetization. So very important point about this thing. And um, when it comes to the blog creation part, Dame said done a very in-depth uh, video, which is over a one hour showing exactly go step by step building on a WordPress blog. And mm -hmm. we also have the biggest ever WordPress tutorial on seekhost.app tutorial section about WordPress. So we, we will have the links below because on this one, we want to show you through about starting the blog, what's the process, what needs to be kept in the mind, what are the core aspects, and then a little bit of ideas about earning money from it. So the links are going to be below for the in-depth tutorial about exactly doing each and every step. Even James, you, I think you go about um, showing how to do the editing using different uh, back-end systems and all those things right yeah yeah absolutely i mean the whole course actually in fact if you follow it one by one it's actually a whole three hour course it's, i mean it takes you through every setting of wordpress how to do yeah. your posts how to improve your posts um even everything from if you're not sure how to link your domain to your hosting you know it, we, we go through everything we start from absolutely nothing then we end up with a website so yeah definitely follow along that's a good one to uh, get into especially for free <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all there. And, and anytime, reach out to James. He's on social media. Reach out to him and drop a comment below. Even on this video, you can ask any questions. We will be showing you exactly um, anything that you ever need to do about starting a blog. Not just starting a blog for the sake of a blog. Starting a blog that can be a income stream for you that you can open up making money you know if you read those uh, how to make money blogging guide which is also on the description we uh, we, we did the yesterday the video as well which tells you exactly some of those uh, business models that you can use once you build a blog to a one one thousand visitors the thing so uh absolutely all those things are there go through write down we will subscribe to the channel because we're going to have more videos and we're going to we're going to literally going to pump uh, more videos every week throughout the year and um, help really. everybody get online with the blog, make money with it, choose a carrier, all those kind of things, really. Perfect, perfect.
nice ones. I think that's all wrapped up now. Got that one. Um, yeah, everything done. Good one. So Perfect. everybody, thanks for listening. Subscribe for the channel. And if you're watching this live sessions on uh, Facebook, subscribe, drop some love, love for that. And we look forward to coming to you again from another podcast. So thanks for listening. Fernando Raymond here at Seacoast. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.